Anytime you do a search in your databank, you'll be taken to a search results screen. This includes if you're using the Easy Query search or searching one of your tables. No matter what page you're on in your databank, it will most commonly tell you at the top of the page what page you're looking at. Right now I can tell I'm looking at my search results. To navigate your search results, we give you several options. First, we tell you how many matching records there were out of how many records total there are in your databank. In this case, I had 334 people whose last name started with N. Not all of my results are displayed on the same page, so I have several options to navigate between my results. One is to use the page feature, which allows me to advance through my results page by page. Clicking one of the green arrows will take you to a different page. If I wanted to go to the last page of my results, I could click the green arrow with a line. Additionally, if I want to jump to a specific page, the databank lets me know which page of my results I'm on out of how many total pages there were. If I would like to jump to a specific page, all I have to do is enter the number of the page and click the double arrows to go to that page. Underneath the navigation options are the different ways that I can work with this member record. On the page, I see displayed a number of member records. If I wanted to jump in and edit a member record, I could click on this edit icon. If I wanted to add a contribution record, I could click the contribution icon. If I wanted to add a contact note, I could click the contact icon. If I would like to see the member history of this individual, I can click on their hyperlinked name. Following that is the address information for that individual. And if I would like to jump to a specific grouping of information, I can use the go to menu to go to my custom table and look at that information. If I would like to add this person to my address book, I can download their V card. If I would like to remove this person from my search results, I can click the remove icon. This only removes the person from my search results. It does not delete them from my databank. Lastly, on the search results page, I can also do some custom sorting. To do a custom sort, go down to the box marked sort your search results. Let's say that I want to, instead of sorting by last name, which is the default, change it to sort by the first name. Next, I would like to sort by last name. Also, if I wanted to specify another characteristic, I could do that as well. If I would like to see my results in descending order for any of these, I can click the box to see it in descending order. Clicking sort will then resort my search results, and now you'll see Aaron Nelson is the first of my results.